don't miss this year's Hollering Champs. Actress Julia Stiles and Who Asked For It when Dave takes questions from the audience. But first, your local news. 13 News is just ahead. School is extra cool, literally, for kids in the 501 district this year. We'll tell you why. A new business is steering its way into Topeka. And does the family who eats together stay together? Find out why a family meal can make a big difference. Plus, Jeremy, with your forecast, the news starts now. Too few teachers for too many kids makes for tight quarters in Topeka School District. A huge pot of money is waiting for one lucky person who has the right numbers. And meet our Wednesday's children, three kids taking their best shot at finding a forever family. This is 13 News, where news comes first. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lori Hutchinson. And I'm Ralph Hipp. Thanks for joining us tonight. Topeka schools have just opened. Some teachers have already hit their limit, Lori. That's right. Their class size limit, that is. 13's Kara Connolly went to an elementary school in the 501 district today to check into these crowded classrooms. Kara, how crowded are we talking about? Well, Lori, teachers tell me that the ideal class size is about 20 students. But in at least one 501 elementary school, there are several grades with classes of more than 25 students. Linda Baker is teaching her third grade class addition, reading, and space saving. Four. That's because when she did the math this year, she found out there were 28 students in her Highland Park Central class, far more than ever before. It's a trend the school's principal first saw adding up earlier this month. By the time enrollment was over, we were looking at the numbers going, oh my goodness. At the elementary school level, one teacher plus 28 students adds up to a whole lot of extra time. It, it just takes longer to do everything, to even walk down the hall to go to lunch. It takes longer to get everybody out and down there, to go to PE or music. It just takes longer to pass papers out, to have the kids read to you, to do anything just takes that much longer. And Baker only has to worry about third graders. This classroom is a mix of fourth and fifth graders, an extra challenge for those at the head of the classroom. It's, it's pretty tough to try to teach to two curriculums, but we do have two teachers who are excellent at doing that, and so we try to reward them by giving them uh, students that can work in, under that kind of pressure and, and, and put a little bit more in their pocket at the same time. Large and combination classes aren't just tough on the teachers, they can also be tough on the students. But Mrs. Baker says parents can do something about it. Get all the parents, as many as you can, together and go to a board meeting and say to the board, I want my children to have another teacher. The school board already plans to take some action. It's going to hire another teacher for Highland Park Central and add some teacher's aides. But those additions won't solve all the problems. There are still going to be combination classes and classrooms with more than 25 students. But Lori and Ralph, one thing the principal did tell me is that, especially at this time of year, the students don't really notice how many kids are in their classroom. Mm -hmm. They're more concerned with who their teacher is and which ones of their friends are going to be in the classroom. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Still true Tara. today. All right. Even in tight quarters, battling the heat is a thing of the past for kids in Topeka's USD 501 schools. A breeze of cool air delivering comfort to students in Topeka schools, thanks to the yes vote on that $30 million bond issue to air condition every school. Students at Topeka High say it's a lot easier to concentrate now. Before we had air conditioning, it was really bad. It was really hot, and I was sweating all the time. I didn't concentrate on any of my work, so I'm glad that we have air conditioning because it was really hot in here. Administrators say it's also great for them as they don't have to worry about tacking on makeup days at the end of the year. Teachers in Topeka's 501 district cast their votes on a new contract today. Staff members for the KNEA are busy counting all those ballots tonight. The new contract would include a salary increase of about 6%. Right now, teachers in Topeka are working without a contract. The National Education Association Kansas branch will release results of the vote tomorrow and send it on to Topeka's USD 501 school board for consideration at its meeting on the 6th of September. Lori? If you're feeling lucky tonight, hopefully you got your hands on a Powerball ticket. Tonight's jackpot could set a U.S. record, adding up to about $200 million. Topekan snatched up more than 2 million tickets, hoping to cash in on the big prize. Many of them spent the day dreaming of 
what they do with the money. New cars all around and pay off the house and start a college fund for the kids and just have a good time. All pay off the bills and uh, put some away for retirement. We'd probably take a trip and um, maybe even move. <laughs> Okay, Chris, Diana, here's your chance. The Powerball numbers, 2, 36, 39, 30, 28, and then Powerball number 10. Forbes Field is a big winner tonight as a new business steers into the capital city. The Sports Car Club of America announced today it's moving its world headquarters from Denver to Topeka. SCCA will complete the move in November 2002 after the Metropolitan Topeka Airport Authority designs a new office complex for it. But the SCCA says is also interested in giving to Topeka. So the question from you is what is the SCCA going to do for Topeka and for the state of Kansas? As Oshkosh, Wisconsin is known for their aviation festivals and Williamsport, Pennsylvania is known for the Little League World Series, Topeka, Kansas will be known for being the grassroots motorsports capital of the world. Topeka's economy is also expected to get a lift with 50 additional jobs. The Department of Justice gives Kansas a grant to stop violence against women. U.S. Attorney General John Ashcroft announced today Kansas will receive 1.3 million dollars as part of this year's Stop Violence Against Women Formula Grant Program. The Justice Department has awarded Kansas nearly 8 million dollars in stop funds since 1995. Kansas uses this money in many ways, including educating law enforcement officers, prosecutors, judges, and advocates about domestic violence, and also maintaining a statewide toll-free crisis line. Political hopefuls, including Elizabeth Dole, are lining up in North Carolina after Jesse Helms' announcement in Raleigh tonight. Helms' retirement tops the Wednesday World Minute. Here it is. The veteran Republican they call Senator No announced he won't run for a sixth term next year. Helms was elected to the Senate in 1972 after working as a conservative commentator for the TV station where he made his announcement earlier tonight. An alert from the Consumer Product Safety Commission, they say emergency rooms are filling up with people hurt in motor scooter accidents. One of every three people injured on scooters are children. The CPSC also says there could be three times as many victims this year. Florida Highway Patrol troopers shut down part of this causeway bridge after an accident left a semi-truck dangling off the side. It hit another car before the driver smashed the truck through a guardrail. Two people were hurt in the wreck. A much smoother landing not too far away at Kennedy Space Center. This time you're seeing the shuttle landing view from the inside. Discovery's crew brought back three astronauts who've worked inside the space station for six months. Food fight, Buñol, Spain is hosting its Tomatina Festival. It is no formal affair. Trucks packed with plum tomatoes provided the ammo so people could pelt each other. And that's the world in a minute. Doesn't that look like fun? <laughs> and uh, I'm just dying to say we're going to catch up with Jeremy Goodwin oh. now. But that's just too bad you to just, say. You it's knew too, it was too, coming. You know, yeah. if, if you're tired of the forecast and want a little cooler temperatures, hold your, hold your tomatoes, right? Because it's going to be a little bit better tomorrow. Yeah, don't throw them at me. I've got rain out here. I've got there cooler go. temperatures. And maybe it's I'll better. be a little, a little more popular tomorrow than after bringing 101 yesterday and 98 today. Let's see how things are faring across northeast Kansas. And that's the most rain we've seen across the area in a good long while, but it's hit or miss. The capital city hasn't seen a single drop yet, and Seneca, located about right there, hasn't seen anything at all. But some spots in southern Nemaha County and southern Marshall County picked up anywhere from two to three inches of rain during the last several hours. So there is plenty of rain to go around. Temperatures are warmer where the rain has not fallen yet. 87 in Emporia, still 82 in Topeka, cooler in Hiawatha, close to the rain at 78 and at 75 at uh, Concordia. 98 was the high today, just, just a little bit above normal, 11 degrees worth. 79 was the morning low, so we had a big head start, and like I said, no precipitation so far. But we do have a chance for showers and storms all night long, scattered in nature. Uh, we may find a break in the action through the mid part of the day tomorrow, but the storms should refire during the late hours of the afternoon and the evening, and it'll probably stick around through Friday as well. Weekend looks good with some 80s. We'll right. talk about the eight day in a few minutes. All right. Thank you, Jeremy. Okay. Well, with summertime finally winding down, we thought it might be a good time to hit the links. The miniature links, that yeah. is. Lori's going to introduce us to our Wednesday's children. Three kids who will crawl right into your heart. They're coming up next. Dare to compare Mercury at the Mercury Summer Sales Event. There's 0.9 financing on every new 2001 Mercury. 
including the roomy VA-powered Mercury Grand Marquis. Now with your choice of low 0.9% APR financing or $2,500 cash back. Plus, click on daretocomparemercury.com and see how Grand Marquis GS is over $2,300 less than Buick LeSabre Custom SE. Then dare to compare Mercury at your local Mercury dealer today. All right, who's joining us this afternoon? This is Ed Jones, your 1215 appointment. Ed Jones. Jones. I thought we moved him to tomorrow. Oh, you're so right. My fault. I'll take care of it. Hey, Ed! Do you have enough life insurance? After all, they won't make an appointment with you. So make one with us. Seek shelter today. You're watching 13 News on WIBW, where news comes first. Golf can be a frustrating sport, trying to get that little ball into that <laughs> tiny cup. That's right. Even miniature golf can yeah. test your patience. But this week's Wednesday's children were definitely up to the challenge. Steven, Sierra, and DeAndre are pretty good little golfers. They're also good kids who need a family to adopt them and give them a home. Where do we go first? A trip to the miniature golf course can be a lot of fun. It can also be dangerous when you give a three-year-old his own club. <laughs> DeAndre is a happy and busy little boy who has no problem taking matters into his own hands. But when he does need some help, he just calls on his older siblings, 11-year-old Steven and 10-year-old Sierra. Let's go over here. They watch out for DeAndre and take care of him. Put his pajamas on and change his diaper and take the trash out and stuff. Put him in the bed and put his pajamas on and stuff. When they're not keeping an eye on their brother, Stephen and Sierra stay busy in other ways. They enjoy playing sports such as basketball and soccer. And in school, they like the same subjects, math, science, and algebra. What they don't like, though, is the moving that comes with foster care. I've been in about 12 schools my whole life. Is that hard? Yeah. <laughs> all three are hoping to crawl out of that cycle and into one family who, above all, puts God first. I think about a Christian family and a mom and a dad and a brothers and sisters. A Christian family, a mom and dad, another brother and a sister. They have to disappoint sometimes. This nice family. A nice family who will adopt all three and give them all a good shot at happy, healthy lives. If you'd like more information on Steven, Sierra, and DeAndre, or any of the other children in need of adoption or foster care, call Lutheran Social Service at the Wendy's Wonderful Kids hotline. The number's on your screen. You can also log on to the website. That's lss-ksok.org. Special thanks, too, to the Sports Center once again for letting us bring the kids out and play a fun round of golf. Ralph? More back to school. Now here's Melissa Bruner to look ahead to 13 News at 6 tomorrow. Coming up tomorrow on 13 News at 6, people who need help to pay medical bills related to organ transplants are going to be getting some assistance. Plus, more ideas are in the works to help them, thanks to a young woman wearing a Kansas crown. We'll detail that story tomorrow on 13 News at 6. And first day for KU and Washburn. Warm summer nights here in the capital city. We'll take a live look from Eagle Eye 13. Jeremy's up next to tell us if a cool down is in store. The forecast next. I think S&K's summer clearance suits me just fine. Get the lowest prices of the year during final clearance days at S&K. Save up to half off sportswear and over 60,000 famous brand suits as low as two for $180. Don't miss the final clearance days at S&K. All Space Museum, Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo go for a visit. Planetarium and IMAX Dome Theater. Now showing whales. Go for a visit. Apollo Gallery. Follow Apollo 13 to the moon and back. Control, we are go for the moon. Dr. Goddard's left. All rockets ready for launch. Control, this is the Kansas Cosmosphere and Space Center in Hutchinson. We are go for all visitors today. The wedding was lovely. It was absolutely perfect. For their daughter's wedding, the DeHammers borrowed the money they needed from American Family Financial Services. When she was a little girl, she tried on my wedding dress. Our daughter was the sweetest thing we ever had, and she's my baby. I really didn't want to let her go. We arranged a loan through our American Family Insurance agent. He was just great. <laughs> 
all your protection and financial services under one roof. American Family Insurance. AAA's top choice, a Consumer's Digest Best Buy. Five-star government crash test ratings. Just right and just plain smart. Now with thousands of dollars in finance savings or cash allowances from $1,000 to $2,500. See, compare, drive, dodge during the Team Dodge sales event. I think S&K's summer clearance suits me just fine. Get the lowest prices of the year during final clearance days at S&K. Save up to half off on over 50,000 sport coats. Clearance priced from $49.97 to $99.97. Don't miss the final clearance days at S&K. Tonight's weather brought to you by Feldcamp's Furniture Mart in Manhattan. Really? All right, we'll have those Powerball numbers again a bit later. We'll see the numbers that Jeremy Goodwin's been playing around with on the high temperatures tonight. Oh, yeah, and they're going to be a little lower the next few days. Yeah. Fortunately, we'll take it. We'll take some rainfall totals, too. Let's look outside and see how things are going with a live look at Eagle Eye 13. If you watch close enough, long enough, you just may see some flashes of lightning to the north, and there we go. Some much-needed rain across northeast Kansas, and it's about time. Temperatures are cooling, but not much here in the capital city where the rain has not started falling. We're still at 82 degrees. The dew point has been rising all day long, 69% humidity with the north wind at 13, and the barometric pressure currently rising at 29.87 inches of mercury. Let's go up the road a bit. Nemaha Valley High School in Seneca. No rain yet. Just a few miles south of you getting uh, up to two or three inches, but not a drop yet at the WeatherNet site in Nemaha Valley High School. Plenty of rain to talk about just right in between Seneca and Topeka, but no rain at either location. Here's all the action. And we did have a few severe storms earlier this evening in southern Nemaha County and northwestern Jackson County. Some uh, pretty strong storms in that area. Let's move on and check out what we have so far. Corning in southern Nemaha County, 50 mile per hour wind, winds uh, were reported by Jerry Keltzer. Over in McPherson County, three quarter inch hail. Uh, also Galva in McPherson County, 80 mile per hour winds and some damage. And in Conway in McPherson County as well, one inch diameter hail. So. Pretty nasty stuff, especially down to the southwest, right in this area associated with some storms that moved through there. And several severe storms have, were uh, reported in McPherson County earlier. And watch right through here. Lots of rain across uh, the northern part of the area. But again, Seneca getting no rain. Just amazing so far the way it can dodge one city and deluge another city. But that's what we're going to see the next few hours during the overnight. We'll find some spots getting some lightning as well. Over 1,800 strokes in just the last 30 minutes alone. So plenty of lightning to go around and to, with this uh, much needed rain. As we check the next rad imagery across the uh, country, you can see the boundary right through here setting up at the warm frontal boundary, south of this warm and sticky, north of it a bit less humid with temperatures a little cooler. And where you find that contrast, that's where we're gonna find the showers and thunderstorms. There's also a low pressure mess developing out in the Rockies. Watch this, a little counterclockwise spin in the atmosphere here, much stronger than the models anticipated yesterday, but we'll take a mistake in the models at this time, bringing some much needed rain into our area. The capital city is about two inches behind for the month of August alone, the rainfall totals, and we're finally getting some. Boundary here, one low pressure area moves on through. We'll probably find a break in the action through the mid part of the day tomorrow, and then the next batch of rain will start passing through tomorrow evening, and we'll may maybe find another round of rain as we go into Friday as well. Temperatures tomorrow much more reasonable. You don't see any more uh, hundreds on the board, and we'll take that upper uh, 80s to around 90 here in the capital city. About 70 by tomorrow morning. Thunderstorms are likely. They're already in progress in most locations. Tomorrow, storms likely again, a high near 90, and one more day of rain likely in northeast Kansas on Friday at 90 degrees, south wind at 10 to 15. The eight-day has more good news. Cooler on the weekend in the middle 80s, and that cool weather continues into Monday and Tuesday. Lots of good news there. Yeah, the 80s it look is. great. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Jeremy. Sure. Well, sitting down to dinner as a family could make a very big difference for your kids. Hear why it's so important next in medical news. Here's another look at those winning Powerball numbers. We've got them in order for you now, and Kansas Lotto, too, will be back. Captioning is brought to you by KPL, doing what it takes to keep the lights on, and a whole lot more. If you're looking for a great job, or if you're an employer looking for an employee, the Workforce Centers of Northeast Kansas serve everyone and do almost everything in one place. 
job placement, career exploration, job training, resume services, labor market research, career counseling, all at no cost. Check out the Workforce Center nearest you in Topeka, Lawrence, Manhattan, Atchison, and Junction City. At the time, we realized it was a tornado. It got deathly quiet, and you could just hear the windows and everything popping and cracking, and the house being torn apart. Called the agent at 6 o'clock in the morning, told him it was one of those stories he didn't want to hear about, that the house had been destroyed. It was a big relief uh, when my agent got there, knowing that you're dealing with somebody locally that you can trust and believe in. We were paid off completely within four days after the tornado. I would strongly recommend Farm Bureau Insurance to anybody and, and do. I trust those people. Check out today's headlines and much more at WIVW.com. If you have taken the diet pills Redux, Pondamin, or Fenfen, you may be entitled to part of almost $4 billion now available. Even if you have no symptoms, call attorney Steve Folston for a free consultation to see if you are eligible. Once again, if you've taken Redux, Pondamin, or Fenfen, Call 1-800-820-8166 to see if you qualify for part of almost $4 billion now available. Call Steve Folson now before it's too late to file your claim. Now you can be safe and steady without losing your sense of adventure. Introducing the all-new 2002 Explorer, redesigned inside and out. It offers a new third-row seat, easier entry, the most advanced safety system available. And it's the only vehicle in its class with independent rear suspension for better traction, greater stability, and a smoother ride. At Explorer's go-anywhere spirit and with financing as low as 2.9%, you've got the best of both worlds. The 2002 Explorer at your Midwest Ford dealer. The news is brought to you by your local Ford dealer. You're watching 13 News on WIBW, where news comes first. Lori, there was a recent survey showing that about a third of 14-year-olds have regular dinners with their families. And this is a trend that has some experts concerned. 13's Melissa Bruner explains why in tonight's medical news. Meet the Scott family, Acacia, Renee, Taylor, Tony, and Shiloh. With so many of them going in so many different directions, finding time for a family meal can be tough. When we're all in the same state, yes, we, we try and make our dinner meal something that we get together with. The Scots say they manage to come together for dinner at least five nights a week. Yeah, guys. Thank you for the Family relations professor Rebecca Adams says they're on the right track. The families that really seem to be strong, healthy families find some way to have some family meal or meals together. The Scots say mealtime is a good time to air any problems. Find out what kind of day they had, whether they're having trouble, uh, be it either in the sports that they're participating in or one of their classes or somebody's picking on them. For their emotional connectedness, for their sense that somebody cares for them, that uh, they have an identity as a, as a family, uh, it's just extremely valuable in the, in the emotional relationship for people. Coming together for a family meal can have positive physical health benefits, too. Studies show kids who eat dinner as a family consume almost one extra serving of fruits or vegetables a day. Family meals are also likely to serve up higher intakes of fiber, calcium, and iron with less fat and soft drinks. It may take time to find the time for a family meal, but the Scott family is proof it could be time well spent. Melissa Bruner, 13 News. Now, when you can't squeeze in a family meal, everybody's so busy. Teach kids how to incorporate better nutritional choices instead of frozen meals or fast foods, which is so easy for all of us. <laughs> That's for sure. Wanda Sports local boxers weighed in for tomorrow's fight night. Find out how one Topekan plans to promote and participate. Look at them. <laughs> Steve G's next with 13 Sports. Only the best deserves to be showcased. And now your Chrysler dealer is showcasing our most award-winning lineup of vehicles ever during the Chrysler Showcase Clearance. Now on select Chrysler minivans, get financing as low as 0.9% or get a $2,000 cash allowance on Chrysler Voyager or Town & Country. So hurry to the Chrysler Showcase Clearance today. Then you can showcase an award winner right in your own driveway. Tonight on an all-new Late Show, call a friend. 
call a neighbor. Dave's got the hollering champs, plus actress Julia Stiles tonight. Hello, everyone. I'm Rob Peppers. And I'm Scott Rose. Tomorrow on 13 News This Morning, Mr. Food breaks out the latest weapon for beating the summer mealtime blues. Make your summer salad sizzle with this recipe. There will be less sizzling going on as temperatures will be cooling. By the time we get to the weekend, we'll have the latest forecast. And discover why Melanie will be live at Discovery Shop tomorrow on 13 News This Morning. See you at 5 30. Dylan's for Super Dollar Double Coupons. coupons. With your Dylan's Plus card and for a limited time, your neighborhood Dylan's offers you Super, Super Dollar Double, double coupons. coupons. That's double the face value of every valid manufacturer's coupon up to and including one dollar. Save as much as two dollars on one item. So get them up and clip them out. Then bring them into your nearby Dylan's now for Super, Super Dollar, dollar double, double Coupons. coupons. For a limited time, only with your Dylan's Plus card. It's back to school time, so let's put safety first. With younger children, practice how to wait and board the school bus safely. If your child is walking to school, make sure they mind all traffic signals and the crossing guards. If they're riding their bike, remind them to follow safe cycling procedures. Walking and riding to school is always safer with friends. From the entire Briggs Auto Group family, let's make back to school safety our number one priority. The news is brought to you by Dodge. Get somewhere. Grab life by the horns. Dodge. You're watching 13 News on WIBW, where news comes first. This is pretty impressive. Seven local fighters on tomorrow night's fight that? card. Yeah, four yeah. of them from Seaman High School, so a good reason to come out and watch some local kids in action, huh? The Rumble at Remington's is on for tomorrow, so tonight, the pre-fight tradition. The way in now wasn't exactly like Ali Frazier in terms of theatrics, although Damon Reed and Calvin Miller did their part to mug for the cameras. And not only is Reed boxing tomorrow, he's also making his debut as a fight promoter. I actually trained harder, so therefore I knew that come the night of the fight, you know, if I'm not as focused as I need to be, then my conditioning is going to pull me through because I know I'm going to have so much going on the night of the fight, and today, and yesterday, and the day before, it's just been... I'm mad. My phone has just not stopped ringing. And for the record, Reed weighed in at 191, his opponent Miller at 215. Reed plans to watch all the fights tomorrow except the one immediately before his own. And he says now that he's been on both sides, he'll know how to act toward promoters in the future. All right, this little tidbit made it across the sports wires today. An associate of Don King Productions and a Washington, D.C. boxer were indicted today on charges they fixed about in order to pad the record of New York boxer Richie Melito. So what you say? Well... It turns out Melito fought our own Damon Reed back in April, and Reed was disqualified from the fight when he thought he was winning it. So tonight, Reed commented on the indictment. And you know what? I believe it with all my heart and soul that the guy did fix fights because the guy can't fight a bit. You know, he just couldn't, you know, and they gave me a lot of money to go fight him. He's a big heavyweight, 26 wins, one loss, 25 knockouts, never been out of the third round. I had him in the, uh, in the what, ninth round, hanging on to me, slobbering down my shoulder. You know, he couldn't breathe, you know, I mean... Uh, and, it, and it's right there on the on the sports line. I mean, the guy's, uh, he's just not a real fighter. You know, some people just don't know what it takes to really pay the price to really be in there and fight world-class competition. Now, in all fairness, these charges have not yet been proven. Melito was not charged. And the president of the Nevada State Athletic Commission saw nothing suspicious. The fight in question did not involve Reed. All right, there are seven fights on the card tomorrow, all of them legit, and all of them featuring Tobago boxers. Reed expects fireworks right off the bat. The first fight, a rematch between Mike Jackson and Matt Gokel. You see Gokel right there standing on the scale. And the Royals scored seven in the first just to watch the White Sox score eight in the sixth. Doug Henry came wow. in. Royals bullpen, the only two words you need to say there. That's right. Those seamen guys, I wonder if they fought each other at school. The best thing is boxers are always night. very animated. No, you know, good sound bites from them all the time. It's huh? a great interview. Right. Yeah. We'll be back after this. A Consumer's Digest Best Buy. AAA's top pick, the most award-winning minivan on the planet, and with $2,000 cash allowance,
Dodge Caravan now starts for under 18,000, making it one of the best values on the planet. See, compare, drive, Dodge during the Team Dodge sales event. Hey guys, McDonald's on me today. You're freaking us out, Jerry. That's the third time this week. What? At McDonald's, you can treat your friends to our new McChicken sandwich. Now just 99 cents every day. Crispy and juicy, it's one tasty sandwich. This price, I might even spring tomorrow. I don't even know who you are anymore. We love to see you smile. The new McChicken sandwich, just 99 cents every day. Why have so many people bought their new mattresses at Mattress Warehouse? Because our factory-trained associates are here to assist you. Because we display over 50 models of Serta and Simmons mattresses. So you have a choice. We also feature a wide selection of sleep products like futons, day beds, bunk beds, and futon bunks. And our showrooms are a pleasure to shop in. Come and see for yourself. Mattress Warehouse. There's absolutely no reason to shop anywhere else. Introducing the next great Jeep idea, Jeep Liberty. Full of innovations and legendary capability. And now, your eyes are fine. Nature has never seen anything quite like it. Jeep Liberty, incredibly capable, surprisingly affordable. You're watching 13 News on WIBW, where news comes first. Jeremy Goodwin is going to give us six out of eight days with highs in the 80s. We love it. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's heading the right direction. Yeah. Temperatures have cooled, will be cooling significantly. We have showers and storms across the area now, and it looks like we have a chance of showers and storms Thursday and Friday as well, with temperatures topping out near 90. The weekend looks gorgeous in the mid-80s with a lot of sunshine. Looks great. Thank you, Jeremy. Well, you've already, you already know if you've won the Powerball jackpot, but it's the people who were lucky enough to get a ticket before closing time who are making our good news tonight. Takes one to win. We caught up with East Topekans trying to get their tickets before the drawing. The people at Kelly Express tell us they sold more than 4,000 tickets just tonight. If you've won the jackpot, or if you have some good news to share, give us a call. We'd love to hear about it. Or share in your good fortune. Sure. Why not? Give I us a call. Down, I wrote news. them down in order, Lord. 2, 28, 30, 36, 39, and 10. And I wish I had this a few hours ago. And if you win ago. the jackpot, please come on down. You know, bring us <laughs> lunch and everything. Yeah, well, That's right. right. That's right. Steve, you get the last oh, I didn't word. win.